in Ukraine, jazz of the first generation, as they say, did not go. Mainly because our dealers were selling it for almost the price of a Civic, a higher-end model. But in the secondary market, this hatchback is in good demand due to the optimal ratio of functionality, quality and reliability. The car was produced only in the form of a five-door hatchback, outwardly resembling a minivan. In the engine range, exclusively gasoline engines with a volume of 1.2 liters, 78 horsepower, and 1.4 liters, 83 horsepower. The standard gearbox for both modifications is a 5-speed mechanics. For the most powerful motor, a variator was also offered. Honda Jazz can already be mistaken for a compact van, and inside it is practically not inferior to these functional cars in terms of the number of transformations and interior organization. The high one volume body is very roomy and practical. The front will be spacious even for tall people. The rear sofa is able to move back and forth, which allows you to significantly increase the bowels of the trunk or interior space. At the same time, the chairs are folded, the pillows rise to the backs of the seats. Pre-styling copies were partially brought from Europe, and cars younger than 2005 were already officially sold in Ukraine. In the secondary market, mainly European versions are presented in S, LS and S trim levels. The base S variant included ABS, front and side airbags, electric power steering, power and heated mirrors, and central locking. The LS version was additionally equipped with front power windows, radio and air conditioning. The S modification had alloy wheel rims and power accessories, glasses and mirrors. Jazz engines are traditionally hardy and durable. Both 4s, 1.2 and 1.4 liters, are similar in design and equally reliable. For example, they have two spark plugs per cylinder for more complete, stratified ignition of the air-fuel mixture. In addition, the Jazz uses one ignition coil per spark plug. That is a total of eight coils and candles. And they rarely fail. But even if one coil from a pair burns out, this will practically not affect the operation of the motor, one working pair is enough to reach the nearest technical center, a spark plug and an ignition coil. But if you drive for a long time with a faulty candle, the ignition distributor may fail. Periodically, you will have to flush the throttle assembly. Even in the timing drive, a strong chain is used, calculated according to the regulations for the entire life of the car. The manual and CVT, like many components and mechanisms from Honda, are usually trouble-free, but you can break anything if you want, so when buying a used Jazz, automatic transmission diagnostics will not be superfluous. Mechanics is even purposefully very difficult to kill. The suspension of the Honda Jazz is quite strong, due to the simplicity of the design. The rear semi-independent beam, for example, requires little to no intervention. Front suspension elements last a long time, but the cost of repairs, when they are needed, will be quite high. But the chassis is comfortable, it willingly swallows small bumps and gently overcomes potholes on broken road sections. Jazz engines are a priori reliable and durable, as evidenced by the presence of a metal chain and a timing mechanism, as well as two candles with their own coils for each cylinder. However, at the same time, engines are demanding on the quality of gasoline and service. Unprofessional service and spare parts from a dubious manufacturer do not increase their life expectancy. Manuals are virtually trouble-free and can outlive the car itself. The CVT is rarely found under the hood of used Jazz, and there are no statistics on their breakdowns. Diagnostics of this part when purchasing such a modification is necessary. McPherson struts work in the front suspension, and anti-roll bars protect the body from swinging. Chassis parts are durable, but their cost cannot be called low. The stabilizer struts and steering tips are the first to be surrendered. In the rear suspension, simple in design and durable H-beam. After 100,000 kilometers of run, the silent blocks of the trailing arm rods, as well as bushings and stabilizer struts, will require replacement. True, their replacement is not so burdensome for the wallet. The body is reliably protected from corrosion, but the paintwork is weak, and after a year or two small chips appear on the hood, arches and thresholds. Electrical equipment is one of the strongest points of the car. If there was no unauthorized intervention, it works almost flawlessly. Over the years, minor failures may appear, but their elimination is inexpensive. 